Hi guys, this is your old Doomsday Stoner. Uh, just doing something that I don't do enough of, and that's listening to Terrence McKenna. Terrence McKenna, the the man I I both credit and curse simultaneously for getting me in the position that I've gotten myself in today. Uh, I owe it all to you, Terrence, and. It's been way too long since I've checked in with Terrence, but I want to thank my buddies at McKenna Culture YouTube channel for bringing out this interview. I don't even know who the interviewer is. This is a 44-minute interview, a wide-ranging interview with Terrence McKenna. We're going to play the first about two and a half minutes of it. I'll put the link on it, and I challenge you to uh, make it through the end of this. Uh, it, wh whether you are or are not familiar with Terrence McKenna, th this is absolutely classic Terrence, which I honestly can't ever remember. And I, now I, I do want to state vehemently for the record that I do fundamentally uh, disagree with my hero uh, and what you're getting ready to hear on purely the third dimensional uh, historical level. Okay, uh, that part all about humans physically leaving planet Earth, uh, you know, and taking this crap outside of this planet, number one, uh, the, the about the only thing I'm optimistic about is that that is never going to happen. I think that would be the single worst mistake in the history, not just of humanity or the planet, but in the history of the universe is if we get loose. Uh, one planet is enough to destroy. So, even though I fundamentally disagree with Terrence uh, in a lot of what he says in this interview on a, on a metaphorical level, uh, which you never can tell with Terrence, I don't think he's speaking on a metaphorical level there, guys. I think he's, he's shooting straight from the hip in his own Terrence way. But uh, yes, uh, I agree with this man 100% on that metaphorical level. But anyway, let's listen to this interview. Oh, damn it, I didn't get the date from it or who the interviewer is. It almost doesn't matter because whenever he said this, it's more apropos today than the day he said it. So take it away, Terrence McKenna. Well, do you think we're in a state of transition? Are we moving from one culture to another? Oh, I think we're definitely in a state of transition. Uh, this is the chaos at the end of history. However, it's probably nothing to be alarmed about. I imagine it's simply the normal situation that prevails when a species is preparing to depart for the stars. You think we're preparing to dis depart for the stars? Well, on the scale of a hundred or a thousand years, I think it's an unavoidable conclusion. And uh, that span of time in geological terms is uh, hardly the wink of an eye. In fact, all of human history from that perspective appears as a preparation for human transcendence of the, the planetary existence. Do we want to get away from the planet? Well, I think you have to take the view that uh, certainly uh, the planet is the cradle of mankind, but inevitably one cannot remain in the cradle forever. Uh, the human imagination, in conjunction with technology, has become a force so potent that it really can no longer be unleashed on the surface of the planet uh, with uh, safety. I need to replay that one. Uh, let's listen one, one more time, Terrence. <laughs> that, that's classic, Terrence. 
in conjunction with technology has become a force so potent that it really can no longer be unleashed on the surface of the planet uh, with uh, safety. Uh, yeah. The human imagination has gained such an immense power that the only environment that is friendly to it is actually the vacuum of deep space. It is there that we can erect the architectonic dreams that drive us to produce a Los Angeles or a Tokyo and do it on a scale and in such a way that it will be fulfilling rather than degrading. So yes, I think uh, we cannot uh, move forward in understanding without accepting as a consequence of that that we have to leave the planet, that we are no longer the bipedal monkeys we once were. We have become almost a new force in nature, a thing of language and cybernetics and uh, an amalgam of computers and uh, human brains and societal structures that uh, has such an enormous forward momentum that the only place where it can express itself without destroying itself is, as James Joyce says, up in the end. Not sure what up in the ant means, but anyway, this goes on for 42 more minutes. The angel within the monkey. The angel within the monkey. I'm more concerned about the devil within the monkey, but uh, a fascinating 44 minutes of classic. Uh, Terrence McKenna. No date on this one, at least in the uh, lead-in. And, uh, good Lord, look at all these Terrence McKenna videos. Ah! Bye, guys. Oh, yeah, I'm going to put, obviously, I'm going to put the link to the rest of this on here, if I can figure out how.